head. How many of these did I take? God, what a headache. I feel like a small jackhammer in my left temple. Please let there be water. No, no more beer. I need water. No, no food. I'll just throw it all up. No water, of course. Just tossed on the floor. My mother would be proud. At least it won't take me long to get my things. I already feel more human. Now, where did I put my shirt? I was at least hoping I'd look better than I feel.
You have to find the right door. You need to steady yourself. Doing good, really good. You're almost there. Focus, choose, act deliberately. I can't. I've run from my problems long enough. Yes, answers. Good or bad, I need answers. I know what you're thinking. F***ing that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play lone wolf detective. I'm gonna take it slow and be cautious, don't worry. Yeah, telling people not to worry always works. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here.
The more things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. Ethan and his parents. And I'm guessing that's his sister. He always thought they'd run the bar together. I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? do this? Sorry, Nick. It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night.
What knocked this clock off the pillar? It seems there was a fight. That could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. This wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. Flowers are ruined. Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight, obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was.
broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Broken glass, damaged seat. It's possible the fight made its way over here. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. One hell of a mess. This could definitely be the result of two people fighting. It looks like... Not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. Joel's cap. Maybe he provoked me again after I'd had a few? This doesn't fit with the thing I found. The pharmacist's business card. Hope I didn't start picking on the elderly. doesn't fit with the thing I found. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I complete picture now. You know... The man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. 
Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess. It's, it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Family, huh? That's my sister, Celeste. Living in some commune called The Cove. She wants to be called Kayla now. It's her life. Yeah, and it's my choice to be pissed she's ruining it. Look, Sam, we're fine. This is fine, but uh, get the hell out of my bar, okay? Yeah, I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. I still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. 
I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It can get under your skin. Where's, where's you at day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Yeah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. A perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Yo, get out the way. You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough. <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Not uncommon for miners to end up in those once they get black lungs. Oh, Sam, you here to pick up something for your uh, condition? I have a condition? Yeah, the one that makes you the way you're always so you. It's all right, of course. I won't tell anyone. I think I might actually have leaky gut where your intestines starts to dissolve and your half-digested food starts to leak out into your blood. Why not ask the pharmacist? And let him know I might have something like that? <laughs> Ew, he's basically a stranger. Look, have you seen Dennis? I saw him yesterday. We exchanged pleasantries. At the wake? Oh, I saw you too. Given his condition yesterday, he might have come in here. You walloped him. Why not ask the pharmacist? I'll just check the internet when I get home. It'll tell me what to get. It was nice talking to you, Tara. Mm, was it? <sighs> Reminds me of a girl I met. She could only eat chips when she had stomach aches. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. 
I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly, <laughs> I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, I got to hear all about it secondhand. Really not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote... It's done this town a lot of good. You really don't need to say things like that. But it's true. The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask. Why move here, of all places? You know, here. Basswood. A blink, and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? Dennis hasn't come in today, has he? Dennis? I haven't seen him since last night. Why? You looking for trouble? Last night we got into a fight. Like a fist fight. Really? I'm oh, sorry, I missed that. You could both use the thumping. But I left early to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl. Not a little Sam Higgs. Sitting and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Bug made that for Mother's Day years ago. And Kathy still keeps it with her.
Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse we all keep kicking. Why do we even bother with this old place? I think it's like a ghost town sometimes, except ghosts haven't bothered leaving. Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? In the wing of an eye, my soul is turning. In your You are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? 
It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? I am going to be an entomologist. I'm going to study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug. It's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this! No matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Ugh, oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but uh, his last... Have you seen Dennis since yesterday? Have you not learned to not interrupt people when they're talking, Sam? I don't have time for small talk today. <laughs> as rude as ever. I haven't seen Dennis. You have a nice day. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? Good to see someone finally knows how to take care of a plant. It's basic, yet so many people manage to mess it up. You seem real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. I'm trying to. How you doing? You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that... Sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. 
Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. You still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. That's just a rough patch. People will adapt. They just need time. It's not always easy to look on the bright side when you're trying to make it through. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day. But here we are. It feels strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in, but, but you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. It sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really wanna keep an eye on the books, mind you. Hmm. Uh, say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh, yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm hmm.
Joe. Sam? You old bridge jump how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. I heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? <laughs> they might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The yeah, cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations, pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. Perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Millie. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal, after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um, any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? Sorry, Bug. Other things have been getting in the way. Yeah. Everyone keeps saying things like that. Sorry. I know you're trying. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. Have you seen Dennis today? What? No, I haven't. Were you even listening to me? <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised. No one listens to me. I was listening. I just need to find Dennis. If you hear anything about what happened to my dad, let me know. Otherwise, just leave me alone. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam? 
Sam. Glad you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? Honestly, if it happened again, I'd have hit him again. He was asking for it. That does sound like Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article. On how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes. Or she might be someone who you can trust. Who can help. up today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the basswood jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna... Do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? Samuel, Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? Walter, you haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Can't say I have. I hear you got into quite a tussle, quite the tussle. Nothing other than that? You should try the Basswood Jungle office. I've known him to go in on Sundays. He may be a prickly pear, a very prickly pear, but he's dedicated. If he says something will be done Monday, come the devil or come the rain, it is. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? True cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with mother is sacred. Call on me anytime, young Samuel. Anytime. At least the basswood jungle is still standing. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. 
but I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <laughs> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want a beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. <laughs> 